Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do another reading for January. I've already done one, I'm here to do another one. This can resonate at any time in January. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see whatever comes up. I focus on love. If you're in a happily ever after relationship, this reading is not for you. We're just going to see what comes up. I'm not accepting private readings at this time, just so you all know. One card for the month of January for the sign of Taurus. One card. Woo, well, there we go. Patience. Well, that's a good card, isn't it? Patience is needed. Divine timing is at work. Rest assured. Okay. Divine timing. All right. They know what time it is. They know what time to deliver. Have patience. I will zoom this camera in as, as I get the cards laid out. January, Taurus. Something's not coming together. Something's a little stiff. But it can be fixed. Something, I don't know. What does Taurus need to know in the month of January in regards to their love life? Well, <laughs> it doesn't get much better than that. Wish fulfillment. Something you have been wishing for is coming. Have patience, okay? You really need to have patience because a dream, something that you've been dreaming of, something that you have been wishing for is going to come. It is. A blessing is coming and it's something that you have wished for. Okay? Don't lose hope. Do not lose hope. Oh, goodness gracious. Now this is you. This is a hair font called the druid in this one but it's the hierophant faith and trust this is this is you need to have faith don't give up don't give up keep believing keep believing it's coming whatever you've been wishing for is coming it has to come at the right time for it to be successful do you see that sign right there that's it that's it this is from heaven. This is heaven sent. Something is, a blessing is coming from heaven. Oh, it's something you manifested. Like, son of a gun, it doesn't get much better than this. Now, this is major. Major, major, major. Major arcana, first three cards. Something you have been wanting and praying for. This is prayers, answered prayers. It truly is. You've... I cannot make this shit up, okay? I cannot make this shit up. The, you are going to get exactly what you want. Exactly. There ain't no, there ain't no other way to put it. You're going to get what you want. So have patience, please. Keep believing. Keep manifesting it. You have to believe. Have faith and trust that they hear because they absolutely do hear. They hear. You have a connection with the divine. There's a divine connection here. Trust me. Please. Please. Can't wait to see what the rest of these cards are. Knight of Shields. It's been slow, right? The Knight of Shields is slow, slow. It's been taking too long. And you're like, where is it? Where is it? It's coming. It's coming. Slow and steady wins the race. And you guys should know that. Especially be, if you're Taurus Sun you know sun sign star sign a lot of people don't know that sun sign star sign same thing anyway 
you know, it's slow coming, but when it does arrive, it's going to be something very secure, something that you can save because a pentacle is something that you can save. So this is something that you can actually hold on to. This is what you want. Slow and you want the slow moving night. You don't want the one that's sliding in. Okay? You want somebody that's stable and secure, and that's the truth. You haven't gotten what you deserve, right? And you probably feel like giving up. You're probably like, it's never going to come. It's never going to come. Now, remember, your thoughts truly do become things. Keep that in mind. If you continue to have faith and let go and let God and surrender to God's timing, trust that it will come. Yes, you haven't gotten what you deserve. You haven't gotten the reciprocation that you're dreaming of. You haven't gotten that partnership, you know, the one that's going to balance out things for you. You haven't got it yet, but it's coming. It's coming. Yep, yeah, there's that. This is the Page of Cups. You're going to get an offer of love in January. You are. Somebody is going to offer you something. Emotional, emotional support. Or this is just like you'd somebody could start flirting with you. Eight of Cups. But you have to not look back on the past. You have to keep walking up those stairs. You can't go back. Do not to go back to the past. Do not look back. Keep going up. Keep going up. You're headed in the right direction. You are. Mm. This is the judgment card. It says rebirth. It's a 20. But anyway, um... This is somebody, three of wands reversed is somebody that's been wasting their time. Somebody has been wasting their time doing something. You know, not getting prepared or something like that. Wasting their time going, keep on looking back. Forgiveness is needed with the judgment card. You know, somebody may want a reconciliation with you. They may want you to give them another chance. Son of a bitch. Oh, God. Because, you know, everybody knows that the judgment card is a sign of reconciliation. Perhaps. Perhaps. It's also a card of release. Release whatever you keep on looking back on. Right? If this person has not communicated, then why would you continue to hinder your... new opportunity you know this three of wands reverse this is like dashed it's like dashed expectations i mean what do you what do you expect do you expect this person to come back this person is delayed the, this is divine timing, and this is heaven sent, and wish fulfillment is de wish fulfillment is delayed because you keep you haven't got to the top yet. You haven't completely let go of something that was emotionally unfulfilling. You haven't completely let it go. See, it can't get through the the new birth, the new opportunity can't get through the gate because you have to. Really, really pass some sort of test. This is my test card. I have one test card in my deck, in my vision, okay, from what I read. The Knight of Pentacles is a test. You've got to pass some sort of test. Perhaps there's somebody that is dreaming of a reconciliation with somebody. No, no. Here's commitment. This, this Hierophant, which is you, is a card of commitment. You want commitment, right? You want commitment. And you're in a one-sided situation with whoever this person is from the past. They didn't want to commit. And you probably wasted your time on this person. Maybe you need to forgive that whole situation. 
and release it so that your new opportunity can just flow right to you. Right now, there's a barrier. There's a barrier, and it's you. You have the opportunity to shed. The, the magician sheds the old. You have the opportunity to shed the old, to shed the, the emotional disappointment that you've held on to. Just shed it. Just drop it. Drop it. Because you have a new opportunity for love. It's going to come into your life as if by magic. It is. It is. It's going to fly right in. It's going to. This is like a swarm. It's going to swarm right into your life. It's going to come right in. And it's something that you... You know, you need to believe in, you need to have faith in it. Don't let your loneliness, your lack of patience, keep you stuck, okay? You know, I'm thinking that, you know, maybe I need to have a reconciliation with my past because this other person hasn't come in. No, 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 no. This card right here, the magician sheds, he takes action. He uses all the resources within him to bring success to his life. His or her life. This magician is an energy. You have the power to manifest new love. And you are doing it. You are doing it. You've done the first card. This is a card of healing. You've healed so much from this one-sided situation that you wasted your time on. You have healed. Do not lose hope. Do not lose hope, please. Oh, and this is you reversed, son of a bitch. Let me get this zoomed in. Listen, don't, this is you reversed, the queen of pentacles reversed. You may be a little ungrounded. You may be uh, not seeing things clearly because of your loneliness. Okay. You may be uh, stubbornly holding on to some sort of grudge. Let it go. Let it go. In order for things to flow through, in order for this barrier to come, come down, you're going to have to let go of the lost opportunity that you are still holding on to in some way. Let it go. So that new love can come in. You're going to receive a message from somebody in regards to... You know, maybe going out on a date or something like that. You're going to receive some sort of welcome message. I have to tell you, this could be from somebody from your past. It, it could be. Because this could be a reconciliation. It could be. Because this person may, may have walked away. They may have walked away and now they're coming with some sort of apology. Don't get your hopes up. Is that the person that you want? Is that the person that you want, that left you high and dry, that brought imbalance to your life, that didn't want commitment? Maybe this person has decided, you know, they do want to get married. They do want to get a commitment that, you know, they're coming with some sort of offer. So this could be somebody new or it could be somebody from the past. But there's an, definitely an opportunity for a new beginning here with this. There is, but there's a barrier right now. There's some sort of barrier because well, you may feel like you're not you don't want to waste your time. You don't you don't you're not prepared for this. Maybe you're not wanting a relationship right now. Maybe you're at a point where, you know, I just need to focus on my money. I need to focus on my money. I need to focus on my home. I need to focus on my health. I need to focus on everything but love. And all of a sudden you get this offer of love. You are going to get some sort of communication from somebody. It's something that you do want deep down. You've been wishing for it. Whether it's somebody from your past or somebody new, you've been wishing for this love and it's coming. It's coming and you may, it may, may take you back. It may take you back because you may have, you may have been wishing for it and you may have just given up hope and you know, you've given up hope and now you decide, you know, I'm not going to focus on love. I'm going to focus on everything but love. Trust me. I know who this woman is. I'm going to focus in reverse or upright. I'm going to focus on everything but love. And all of a sudden, now you get this offer of love. And you may feel like, I'm not prepared for this. I didn't expect it to come. I didn't, I didn't believe. Well, 
I'm here to tell you that there's probably going to be a message of love and, and, you know, some sort of loving, caring message coming through in which you have an opportunity to break down that barrier. You have an opportunity to accept it. If you want it, it's up to you. Do you want it? But the only way you're going to be able to accept it is to let go of the past hurt. Whether this is with somebody from the past or with somebody new, you're going to have to leave that past hurt behind. Period. So we have Aquarius, we have Taurus, we have Gemini, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. And we have Scorpio. So definitely forgiveness is needed. So this there absolutely could be somebody from the past that wants to commit now, wants to get married. <laughs> oh, God. How would you handle that situation? I don't even know what I would do. So... Now, this could be somebody new as well. It could be. Either way, I see that you got to leave behind those past hurts. There's no doubt. Yeah, something has been stalled. Absolutely delayed. This arrival has been delayed. And you're given... It looks like you've... Like, I'm not even going to invest in this anymore. I'm not even going to think about it anymore. I'm going to focus on everything but love. Uh, and here comes love. Son of a bitch. I, you know, maybe you don't have time for love right now. I don't even know. But you got an offer of love coming in. And there is no doubt about it. And you may feel like, you know, you have to either you, you know, you have to make a decision here. This is, this is the truth. So some, so this is truth. This is a revelation. This is a reveal. Some sort of truth. I mean, judgment you're going to have to make a call. You're going to have to make a judgment call about the truth. Is this true? Is this true love? True love. So, I don't know. I don't know. Son of a bitch. Um, and this, look at see this hand coming up with this full cup. It's a full cup of love. And this, is that like a ring? Son of a bitch. I don't know. I don't know. So, um... Here comes love, Taurus. But forgiveness is needed. <laughs> That's clear message. Forgiveness is needed. There's been a huge delay. Is this new love? This could be new love or reconciliation. Now, these are both reconciliations right next to each other. Please, God, I need more. <laughs> but there's a fear of commitment here. Somebody, you know, the four of wands reverse was afraid of commitment. And maybe you you don't want to commit now at this time either. It's like, you know what? I'm not ready for a commitment. I'm not ready for a commitment. I'm not ready. I'm not. But you, ha you have a new exciting opportunity. You are absolutely going to receive a message or an offer or an invitation to go out on a date with somebody. You're going to receive something. And this person is very well suited for you. Did I tell you we have Pisces, Cancer... Uh, Scorpio, I don't think I did. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So we have, we, you, could, you could have two options here. You could have two options here. You have somebody that is very well suited for you in this mix. I think you're going to get, you're going to have to make a choice between two. Can you leave the past behind? Can you leave this past behind? You have, an, you have an exciting new opportunity like right in front of you. But you may not want to commit. You may be like, you know what? <laughs> I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. I'm not. I'm not. You might want to say, you know what? I just, I, I just, I'm not, I'm not ready for this. I, I didn't expect it to come. Even though I've been wishing for it. Even though I've been dreaming of it. Even though this is a... You know, something I want with all my soul, my heart and soul. It is something that I want and something you've been dreaming about and manifesting. You know, it's like they heard your prayers. They heard your prayers. They've heard your thoughts. They've heard your, your, uh, say they've heard your intentions. And, you know, they've, I mean, you've, you've definitely manifested this. 
You have. You have. You have. You've manifested this arrival, and you do have an arrival of love here. And, you know, I feel like you're probably going to have to turn down one of them, or both. I mean, you might turn them both down. I don't know. Uh, what's the overall outcome here? We do have somebody that is very well suited for you here in this mix. Um, and you have to make a choice between the past and the future. Oh, bastard. That's what that card is. You can't. Everybody knows you have to choose. You're at a crossroads. Do you choose? Do you choose to go back, or do you choose to move forward? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? So it looks like you need. You definitely are looking at love, and you're gonna be forced or faced with a question. Do you? Are you ready for love? Are you ready for a relationship? Are you ready for a commitment? Are you? Are you? This has been delayed for quite some time. It looks like the time is now. It does. It looks like the time is now. I feel as though you are going to receive a message from somebody that is very uh, caring. This message is exciting. It's definitely going to excite you and it's going to make you question what you really want. It's going to put you, put you in a space of uncomfortableness you know you're going to be uncomfortable because um, you got to make this decision <coughs> excuse me I couldn't hold that one back <laughs> I think you have two options here I do I think that you have an option with somebody from your past and you have an option with somebody new I mean this is two options you're at this crossroads and you have to choose which path you're going to take. <clears throat> Somebody's going to have to be released. The four of pentacles reverse. It's like letting go. Letting go of something. So... Letting go of a grudge. You might have to forgive somebody. Oh, jeez, I'm not sure if I can. I'm not sure if I can. I'm just talking about myself. I'm a Taurus. But uh, mm -hmm. you might have to forgive somebody to... Not cheat yourself of love, you know, because if you if you can't forgive, then you're only robbing yourself. You're only robbing yourself of, of love. You have to forgive. You have to forgive. I feel as though you have to make, this is, this is a two of swords right here, and he's got the five of swords. This is seven swords, but we got the two swords here and the five of swords here. You know, you're going to have to let go of your pride. You're going to have to let go of your ego, and you're going to have to make a painful decision. You're gonna, it is. The Two of Swords, a painful decision, a, a choice between two, a t torn between two, two, two choices here. And you are probably afraid, afraid of getting hurt. You're probably, you know, trying to protect yourself. You see, you're underneath it. You're probably trying to protect yourself. And I think that you're probably going to try to run away. You're probably going to try to run, run away. <laughs> oh, God. But somebody doesn't want to let you go. Somebody can't let you go. They don't want to let you go. I think in the past you dealt with somebody that really hurt you, really stabbed you. This is the he's got the five swords. It's the five of swords. Really, really brought you down. And this person wants to come back. Cause see where he's looking. He wants to come back. He does. He wants to come back. I don't know who this person is. I don't. I don't know who this person is.
it's like there's no there's no forward movement here. This person has been blocked. This person has been blocked. This person hasn't communicated and now this person but this person has been watching. This person has been watching and maybe they haven't been able to communicate because they've been blocked but they're still holding on. And, <laughs> and they, you know, they don't want this breakdown. They don't they don't they don't want this to crumble. They don't want this to be over. Somebody doesn't want something to be over. They don't want you to choose somebody else. But it looks as though this person, the choices, I mean, you have, you definitely have to choose between two. The choices that you make, I mean, you've got one person here who really, sneaky, very, very sneaky individual. Sneaky, shady. They may be they may be just trying to hinder your forward movement. They don't want you to move forward. They're trying it's like a cock blocker. You know, a cock blocker. They may be trying to hinder your success. They don't want you to build a foundation with anybody else. And that's why they're coming in now. You know, they're still playing their their games. They're still playing their games. That's why they're holding on. They don't they don't want you to release them and accept the new opportunity. So they might be watching. They are watching. I think I may have said that. This person has been watching and they probably see that you have a new opportunity. Probably the fire sign. Aries. It's probably an Aries. Leo Sagittarius. Um and now you're going to have to make a decision. This is you. This is you needing to make a decision. Be logical here. You're going to see the situation exactly how it is. And you're going to have to make a solid, firm decision. Using logic. Using logic. You know, this is a heart versus mind decision. And in this circumstance... You're going to have to use your mind because you're dealing with somebody that wasted your time and didn't reciprocate in the past and you probably wished for a long time that this person would communicate, that this person would apologize, that this person would come back. And I think during that time, you did a lot of healing. You did a lot of manifesting. You did a lot of inner work. You did a lot of soul searching. You have begun to follow a new path you've gone through some sort of spiritual awakening okay and now you're being presented with a test because you have an opportunity for new love something that could be very 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 fulfilling but you have to pass a test and this test is in between choosing making a choice in between the past and the present use your logic Because you got to protect yourself. You got to protect yourself. So, Taurus, I feel as though you are going to receive a message perhaps from one person or even two. You know, first, I think what's going to happen, let me tell you what I think is going to happen. I think that you're going to get engaged or I don't know about engaged, but uh, you're going to run into somebody that is very exciting and you're going to probably have some sort of connection with this person and you're going to start to maybe date this person and the ex or the other person or whoever this is. This doesn't even have to be this last ex. It could be an ex from way back. I don't know. There's somebody else here that you've known before in the past is going to see. And they don't they don't want you to choose the other person. And they're going to try to block it. Because this is a blockage. They're going to try to block your new connection. They don't want you to build a strong foundation. They don't want it. They don't, they don't want it. They don't want you to build anything with this person. So you're going to have to pay, pass a test. This person's going to come in the past. Whoever this person was is going to, and this, when I say past, this could be a friend or a lover. 
somebody in the mix is not going to want you to accept this new offer of love. It could be a parent. It could be a child. It could be anybody. Somebody does not want you to accept this new offer. And you're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to make a choice. And it's going to be a painful one. So I feel as though, you know, you are going to receive an exciting new invitation perhaps to go out on a date and somebody ain't going to be happy about it and they're going to try to hold you back. So that's what I see. This is absolutely something that you know, this a new offer that, of love that's coming in is something that you have been patiently waiting for. It is. It is. It's something that you have been patiently waiting for. And the time is now. It's coming. It's coming in January. It's coming. Okay? It's something that you have wished for. And this could even lead to marriage. Whoever this person is, it could absolutely lead to marriage. It starts out as flirting. It starts out as flirting. It, it, it heads, you know, it's very exciting. It's very passionate. It heads down a new road. It probably, you know, moves pretty slowly at first because you got this other person trying to hinder it. And that could even be your own thoughts hindering it. Because I see that you guys need to completely keep going, keep going, keep going. I like that Eight of Cups. Keep going, keep going. Don't look back, don't look back. That person that hurt you, yeah, they, they're, they've been watching, they have been watching. And they don't, they don't want you to move forward. They don't want you to move forward. But I think you're going to see it clearly and you're going to make the right decision. So you do have a new offer of love coming in. Make sure that you choose wisely, okay? Beware. Tigers don't usually, or the, I don't think they ever have, changed their stripes. Good luck. <laughs>